kid who was cast for Hang, who I know you're protesting, yeah. he said in a tape, uh -huh. and, and that's how Knight saw him, and he was like, that kid, that kid's good, and he came in, and he looked great, and they, he said, this, he's perfect, this is, he looks just like, he just looks, he, which he really does, he looks just like the character. Is the writer very involved with the film, or are they just kind of hands off, like we sold the project already? I, 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 again, I don't know that. Not much. You don't know? Yeah, I, I, I was basically came in and I answered emails all week. Well, there have been a couple who have said like, like yourselves who said, you know, this is shouldn't be casting it like this, and uh -huh. we, we don't delete those. We actually have them saved and we show them to night. So. Oh really? Yeah. So it's not like it's not like we're ignoring. It's, you know, we we know what's what the, the concern is. is. Exactly. So is he a little worried? Maybe. I think, I think his his stance is that he's casting the best people for the part. You know, Jesse McCartney's not in the movie anymore. You do know that, right? Right, right. I actually got a copy of the casting notice casting. from agents. So it seems like, you know, I guess he was never focused on a specific ethnic group other than... Oh, uh, you mean like now all of a sudden he's focused on on uh, like no. Asian and Middle Eastern people or something? Well, that was the what the fl uh, flyer said for extras, right? The extras director would love to have more variety to pick the best of the best of the best, you know. Yeah, it seems a little weird because you guys are so close to Chinatown, but doesn't it seem like a lot of Asian people are showing up? Well, you know, that's probably my fault because I was the one putting up the flyers in Chinatown. We put it up in Chinese, but, you know, I can't read it, so I was just putting it up. I don't know if it's correct or not. And I handed it out to a, a, a bunch of restaurants on Arch. Uh -huh. um, but that's, that's really the best we can do, you know. This is not just an Asian American issue. We've had a lot of Asian Americans and Asian people overseas be met, upset about this. This is like an everyone upset. In fact, we recently did a, a poll and we found out that 13% of us, of the group, which is about 6,000 people or so, are mixed racial. And a good chunk, about 50, about 40 to 50, are Caucasians. And they're mad because they feel like they're being pigeonholed because what Paramount's trying to say to them is that, oh, because you're white, you can't deal with any other ethnicity as heroes, so we've changed it for you. So it's offended them as well, and all around it's just offended a ton of people. Why is everybody white? I Avatar That Last Airbender is not about all white people. It's mostly Asian people. 12 to 15 year old, male, Caucasian. <laughs> but it says, or any other ethnicity. Yeah. You could be white or anybody. That's what <laughs> <laughs> White or anybody. White yes, or anybody. that works. I think it's a shame that um, Hollywood doesn't have more faith in the American people, especially now that, you know, they're having these films come out and they don't um, have enough faith that, hey, if all the actors are unknown Asian actors, that people wouldn't come out and see it. I think that they should have faith in the story in a time where a lot of indie films are really getting mainstream popularity. It's an opportunity to push for those things and, and pushing the envelope to where people might think it's not accepted, but it's definitely, you know, I think the American people would be responsive, responsive to it. What do you think about the casting of the show? Um, it's open casting, which is very good, you know, uh -huh. it's open for everything, but, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I think there is this view that Asian Americans don't experience racism. The argument, are Asians successful in education? Absolutely. By every measurement. But again, it's so easy to say, oh, it must be their culture, right? They get an A minus, they get beaten up. It's their culture. And in black people and Latinos, if you were like them, you would be okay too. And I think this is one of the many uh, negative outcomes and consequences of the model minority myth. In 1966, the New York Times Magazine, and then later on that year with the U.S. News and World Report, uh, there were two articles that uh, talked about Japanese Americans and Chinese Americans saying even though they represented lower economic you know, levels in, in the country and were discriminated against and, and had all these challenges and obstacles that they were actually able to succeed in this country. And so they were pointing to Asian Americans and asking, you know, what are they doing that other groups of color were not doing? We're not able to see that so many Asian who are coming here, who are immigrating here, are already successful. They were successful before they ever immigrated here. And so we see that it produces this sort of resentment between racial groups, but it also presents this idea that Asians don't suffer racism. And so when they do, they, they should just be quiet and shouldn't raise their voices. And then when they do, in those rare times, we should just shout them down and say they're just complaining. 
And so I think the model minority, clearly, whatever else we say, you know, Asian Americans face very many stereotypes, but I still conceive of the model minority as the primary stereotype that inflicts Asian Americans today. When I think about the model minority stereotype, so often people call it a good stereotype. And that's really a misnomer. You can't call any stereotype a good stereotype. Think about when and why it came into popular culture usage. It came out of a period when um, African Americans were struggling and fighting for equal rights in this country. The image of Asian Americans were used in order to say that let's not rock the boat. It's really out of your own individual success um, can you gain equality in this country. Uh, rather than questioning the structural discrimination and racism. The model minority myth kind of prevents us from understanding that there are many Asian Americans who are suffering under poverty, racism, and so forth, especially from entire you know, uh, ethnic groups such as Cambodians, Laotians, the Hmong, and uh, Vietnamese, many who are very much dealing with issues, gang issues, right? Many who came here, who came what we call the 1.5 generation. Many of these Southeast Asian immigrants are known as the lost generation. Those who, when they arrived, were between you know, 8, 9 to about 15 years old, give or take, who didn't speak English, neither did their families. They end up in places like Kansas. So you have this huge disconnect. So inevitably, the children drop out, they form gangs. And now we have, you know, these continue to be issues today in many of these poverty-stricken communities. But this is one of the many negative consequences of the model minority myth, is that we, we overlook these communities and we say, oh, they're doing fine because they're Asian. We have to constantly remind ourselves that to be full participants in a democracy, we have to fully participate. And if we are not part, if we're not at the table and we don't, make sure that we have a place at the table, that that democracy can fall through our fingers. And that is also true about these media images. I mean, I think that popular culture is also part of the political process. Stereotypes, they're complicated. They're not, um, if you really dig deep, they say so many things in one flash. It's about looking at when these stereotypes come about, what was the political climate, what was the economic climate, what were the other things that actually made these such tenacious images. Darling, I am sorry, but I lost my key. But that was two weeks ago. You cannot go on or keep ringing my bell. You disturb me. You must have a key made. Don't be angry, you dear little man. I won't do it again. If you promise not to be angry, I might let you take those pictures we mentioned. When? Sometime. Anytime. <laughs>